Welcome to video 103, part 2 of using the job editor. Previously we've talked about the colors and activations and so on. Now we're actually going to show you that the, uh, we're going to put some intelligence in the data that we have over here. At this point, UCAMX doesn't know any better that all of these things are copper layers, which is obviously not correct. So how are we going to tell the software what each of these layers are so that functionality that comes later uh, down the road will automatically know what's the solder mask, what's the top layer, what's component, what's inner, etc. For that, we're going to use the layers modify function. So with layers modify, I click on my first layer. It brings up the layer parameters. And what you will see is that it comes up already with the name and you see an alias, that's not important. Class, that is important because we distinguish between three different main classes of layer types. One is the copper layers, just called layer. The second class is drill. And the third class is extra, extras. Um, so this, in this case, this is the component layer. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to tell it this is the comp layer. When I click on apply next, it automatically brings me to the next layer, which I will identify. It's still a copper layer as in it, this looks like a plane. The way I'm going to build this job, let's assume that I'm building this job as, as two cores. So I'm going to do a, a, a plane B over here and tell it the readable side is bottom. Here we have the third layer that is the plane top. Now we notice that if we look at this layer here by itself, we see that the terminals are actually positive, which means that the image itself is actually reverse. It's reverse data. What we would like to do is treat all of the data in the system where color is copper. So what we're going to do is we're going to check this box here that says what we're looking at is reverse data. So switch that on, click on next. This is our solar site, which will be at the bottom. Next, this is our mask. So mask is not copper, it's not drill, it's an extra. So we choose the class extra, we'll choose the class mask. This is the top mask, we click on. Now we have our second mask, which is for the bottom. So we are attaching it to the bottom. And now the silk, which is for the top, apply next. And this is our drill. In this case, I'm gonna indicate that this is the plated layer and it's gonna go from all the, through all the copper layers. So one through four. As soon as I click apply next, it brings me back to the top of the stack, which is our silk screen. And we are actually done with this. So we can click okay. Now you notice that Visually, we are indicating the copper layers with solid lines and the extra layers with dashed lines. We also put the extra layers where they belong, at the top and at the bottom. The drill layer is indicated with a vertical line going from the top layer, in this case, to the bottom layer. If, if this would have been a job that had blind and buried, we would have indicated that and the picture would actually show them as being blind and buried. We just told the system what each layer type is. So later on, when we're going to do a design rule check that checks the silk screen against the copper, it will know, ah, this silk screen is the top. So it's going to check it automatically against this copper layer without us having to say, check this layer against this layer. It will know that automatic. There's also other functionality like panelization that will look at the subclasses like these plain T's and plain B's, for example, it will know during uh, panelization. And it looks like I missed one. During the panelization, it will tell us, uh, if it will look at the class and the subclass and it will know how to treat this particular data set. Now, while we did this, we could also have taken the opportunity to change the layer names because I know 
a lot of you are using this and you for example called it one top silk yeah so you could have of course we could have done that while we were going through this top mask yeah bottom mask and so on and so forth so you can definitely take while you're doing the layer assignment if you are using a particular layer convention that would be the time to assign the layer names like that so i'm going to go through all of that now four and here's my i call this one pth just to show that um if we would have an additional drill layer let's just bring in via the smart start let's bring our our um, drill layer again again this one's already a converted one and now we're going to do layers modify and let's just just for to show how this looks like let's assume that this is a blind drill layer that goes from one to two so you see how visually the vertical line goes from here to here and obviously if you had more than that um, you just indicate it like this now if we what if we want to create a layer like one of the layers that we use or one of the, that we use in, in the system is called an outline layer an outline layer well we didn't get that from the customer so let me first take this one out so how do we create a layer layers create then you click where you want it let's say i want it over here to start with then with my layers modify i will tell it well this is going to be my outline and i'm calling that the type outline the outline belongs to the entire job so it's not attached to the top or the bottom it's attached to none so once we do that you also see that rather than the dotted line we are getting a dashed line over here so those are the extras that are not attached to a particular top or bottom and we are displaying them because we have to display them somewhere we're putting them over here at the bottom so that's how you create a layer and one of the functions that we will see in the in the, the next video one of the, the next videos we will show you how we are actually going to take information from one of these layers and put it on the outline layer so that we have our um, extents of the board but for now this is video 103.